morning. Put your feet up and make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. Okay. I've literally just drawn this. This is how we're going to do this. I've never even done this reading. So, three ways you are blocking your manifestation. Advice on how we're going to move forwards. And then some guidance from the universe. So, what are you trying to manifest into your life? Money, abundance, new love, renewal of love. God, my hair looks crazy today. Sorry, guys. Um, a new city, new life. What are you trying to manifest into your life? These are the three ways you're blocking yourself. How are you blocking what you're manifesting? One more, all right. Right, well, that makes a whole lot of sense. Bottom of the deck, for starters, you're obsessing about it. Can't stop thinking about it, so. One way is obsession. And obsession uh, is, it's a lower vibrational thing. So that's gonna block positive energy coming your way. So here's one thing, judgment in the re reverse. I kinda wanna say you almost don't believe like <clears throat> you deserve it. Well, that's blocking your energy for a start. If you don't think you deserve it, why would the universe give it to you? The second way, I can't do it on my own. You gotta believe in yourself. If you don't think that you have the strength or the power to do something, that's blocking you. You have to believe in yourself. Well, I can't do this on my own. I need someone's help to do it. You got this. Trust me. You can do this. And the third reason is you've been through a lot. Hell, you have been through the ringer. You feel like I'm done. I can't take any more. I want this to be over. I want the good times to start. The problem is you're still in this energy where you feel like I don't deserve it. Only bad things happen to me. Your words are your magic, really. Isn't that what I, abracadabra means? Something along those lines, put that in the comments below. Abracadabra means something like that, like your words are magic, something like that. If you think that you don't deserve something and only bad things happen to you, that's what you're going to get in life. So that's how you're blocking what you're manifesting. I can't do this on my own. I need somebody else to help me. That's what you're manifesting. So you're not going to get what you want. With that mindset. So advice on how to move forward so advice on judgment reverse please my neighbor just sent me a message as you can see i was just reading something so the, the dogs are going to start barking she's just gone out for a walk uh to the shop with her mom and dad and uh, the dogs are going to start barking they can't take the dogs into the shop. They don't want to leave them outside of the shop. So I get that. Um, all right. Judgment in reverse. Advice on how to move forwards here. I'm going to put all the cards out. 
advice on the three of pentacles in reverse. You don't believe you can do this on your own. Oh my god. You have no idea of how powerful you are. I could cry right now. Uh, advice on the Ten of Swords. The bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands in reverse. This is saying that you are not in alignment or harmony, however, well, you know, semantics, whatever you want to say. You're not in alignment with what you're trying to manifest into your life because you're still in the negative energy. You don't believe you deserve it. So what can you do about that? Like I said, you know, this is about setting boundaries. Setting boundaries isn't always about setting them with other people. This can be about setting it with you. No, I deserve it. I'm going to walk away from what was. I'm not doing that anymore. We're done with that. I actually have earned my freaking stripes and I deserve the best. I deserve happiness. I deserve to wake up in the morning and go, I can't wait for today to start. I'm excited. Set your boundaries with yourself. It's time to start saying affirmations to yourself. Oh, I've literally got one right here. I'm read this out to you. I'm going to write this in the description box below for you. I want you to copy it. I want you to put it somewhere where you can see it all the time, like on your computer, next to your bed, so you can read it. My computer just woke up. How weird is that? I didn't touch it. Just the screen came up. Oh, it's a, it's a message to so you. Put it there. Universe, I am open and ready for you to start conspiring in my favor to make my dreams come true. And I request for a clear sign in my reality to come to me today. I am open and ready. You are in alignment. Let's put you into alignment. So advice on how to move forward from this. You don't feel like you can do it on your own. This one really made me cry. Oh my God, look at the fight you have in you. Look at the strength. You just, you can, you have no idea how powerful you are. And I've been there. I thought things would kill me. I thought it would break me. I thought I would die. I thought that I was done and I was over. But I didn't. And like a freaking phoenix, I rose out of the ashes. And I see you doing that too. You have got this on your own. And I'm just so moved. You take my breath away with your strength and... Uh, grit guile even and you don't even know you've got it all I apologise that sound you hear now is um, Steve my cat using the literature and advice for this the third way that you are blocking yourself this is where you are down in the dirt you feel like you've been kicked so many times and you've got nothing else left in you i don't see that personally this is about believing in you and knowing that as with this you feel like you can't do this on your own this is saying you don't need anybody else to fight your way out of this. This is the end. This is the end of this situation. It's done. You are strong. You are independent. You are stable and secure. And I don't think you have any idea of your strength and your power. Everything that you are blocking yourself with the advice from the universe here is that that's not true 
that's not true. This is how amazing you are. If only you could see how amazing you are through the universe's eyes. So let's get a little guidance from the universe for you. Don't normally take flying cards. Mm, they don't make any sense. There's one there. You, your ships are coming in, mate. Your ships are coming in, but the rest didn't make any sense. Guidance from the universe for you. Oh. There it appears to be somebody in your life who takes you down a notch every time you feel like I'm all right, I can do this, I'm getting better. Somebody who takes you down a notch. I feel like it could be a female. Um, somebody who demeans you is the word I want to say. Somebody who sneers at your ideas. Why would you want to do that? How are you going to do that? How are you going to implement this? How are you going to make that? You haven't got what it takes to do that. This is someone who always takes you down a notch. Can you function in your life happily without this person? I don't need cards. I don't need cards to tell me the answer to this. Can you function happily in your life without this person? Yeah. Even if this is like a major family member, a husband, whatever. Well, well, freaking well. You don't need this person. You are stable and secure and fine and you're a fighter and you've got this on your own. This person takes you down and takes you down. Drop them. It's not that easy, Jen. I know. Do you think I haven't done it myself? You think I haven't had to walk away from people that I love because they crush me? Because they make me feel like I'm not good enough. I've had to do it, my loves. And I'm better for it. Happier for it. You got a couple of tens in this reading, which is the end of a very, very tough cycle. This is like, such a heavy burden that you've been carrying this person in particular you've got this and you are stronger than you think and nothing is gonna hold you back nothing not even yourself where, where is it let me play one of these If you would like to have a quick mini read on your situation, go to my website, ncvtarot.com and book a quick mini read. It's only $30. It's just two minutes. You ask your question, I can give you insight into your situation. Surrender to the divine. This is going to happen. What you're manifesting into your life, the goodies, that's going to happen. I am going to do a extended for this, which will be um, located in my website, gencbdarrow.com. And uh, we'll just go a little bit deeper into, I'll do a full spread for this. See how the future's going to pan out 
and any obstacles along the way. Aside from yourself, because you're the one blocking you right now. Um, thank you for joining me. See you later.